Government shutdowns. When they happen, about the only thing certain is both sides will blame the other. At midnight last night, for the first time in 17 years, the Republicans in Congress chose to shut down the federal government. But it's pretty clear to me, at least at this point, that neither the Senate Democratic majority nor the President of the United States have any interest whatsoever in entering the, into any discussions about how to resolve this impasse. And we already know a shutdown means federal agencies will close and government workers will be furloughed. But what does it mean for us, the little guy? Here are the facts on how a shutdown can actually affect you. First, Social Security. You will still get your benefits because Social Security is a mandatory program that will continue to work even if Congress fails to pass a spending bill. Second, travel and tourism. Heads up, if you need a passport, you might want to put that request in now. The State Department's passport services are partly funded on fees, so they're not completely dependent on Congress. But if a shutdown drags on, your application could get delayed. Third, that vacation to any national park or federal tourism site like the Statue of Liberty might also have to go on hold. They usually close, and that includes the Smithsonian Museums and the National Zoo. During the 2013 shutdown, even the panda cam was turned off. When it comes to government shutdowns, the devil is in the details. We can only keep our fingers crossed. Well, last night I signed legislation to reopen our government and pay America's bills for a swift ending.